Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here. I must say this is the most one of the most exciting events I've ever been to in my long career with both labor and the U.S. Department of Labor. It's truly an honor to be here. As the regional administrator of the U.S. Department of Labor Women's Bureau, I travel around New England talking to groups like this and smaller groups and promoting uh, practices for women and men in the workplace. And I always start by saying that the Women's Bureau is very old. We were created in 1920, the same year that women in this country got the right to vote in elections. And everyone looks, oh wow, that is so old, 1920, and they're reminded that women couldn't even vote here when my mother was born, uh, before that actually, uh, she couldn't vote. Um, so. You guys are before 1920. You're well before 1920, 1912, and you know about the struggles that have gone on in this country, in the workplace, in the community, in government, all over. And it's really a privilege to be here with some of the descendants and some of the people who were here at that time. Uh, I did a little research in preparing for this talk, which will be very brief. And I noticed that even the U.S. Department of Labor was not created until 1913. So there was, it was, it, there was a cabinet level position with several departments, including labor altogether, but it didn't get its own distinct department until 1913. There was a Children's Bureau in 1912. And I think that we all know that there were a lot of children working in these mills. And um, that could be why there was a Children's Bureau. And that eventually went into the US Department of Labor in 1913. I also was personally shocked, even though I, I have read a little labor history, um, to find out that, at least according to the source that I read, one half of all the workers at the neighboring American woolen um, mills were girls 14 to 18 years old. And there was a female doctor from Lawrence who was quoted perhaps in that congressional hearing that President Taft had. And she said that many, many of these children, which they were, actually died before they were 25 years old as a result of some of the health conditions that they experienced in the mills in those days. So we have come a long way. We still, of course, you know, have further to go. but. I do have sister agencies, now that there's a Department of Labor and a Women's Bureau, there's also a Wage and Hour Division, which um, has posters. I brought some today, but you can get more if you want. Talking about jobs youth may perform and what ages they're allowed to perform them at in this country, and the hours youth may work, and the regulations and the enforcement <laughs> for that. So I just want to close with my gratitude to those of you who are here and those of you whose relatives were here, and all of you um, who have worked. And I admire your bravery. I did the reenactment walk this morning, and it was really amazing. And I'm just really honored to be here. Thank you all.